This is the air compressor for all the uh, brake applications. It's three cylinder, two low pressure and one high pressure cylinder. Okay, this is the truck system. This, it, uh, the trucks are what holds the traction motors and also the suspension for the locomotive. The uh, brakes are mounted on the trucks. We got uh, the air brakes, air cylinder here, which runs the brake shoes down there. They're all composite. This is the the slack adjusters for the for the brakes to adjust the slack in the for the shoes. Uh, they're a composite. They're uh, just like basically like your car brakes. They're a composite. They used to be cast iron. Couplers have a pin in them and a block. And uh, you lift the handle on the side, it's the pin lifter, lifts the pin, opens up and allows a block and the um, knuckle to open. And then when it closes, the pin will drop and lock in tight. They are all different depending on the type of knuckle part you have in the drawbar. This is the main train line of air hose for the brakes. This is the brakes between the locomotives. The main reservoir, this is the equalizing reservoir, and then this is your control between locomotives. The electrical between locomotives for control is done with the MU cable. This one's 1,500 gallons, 1,500 gallon fuel tank. Uh, most of the bigger units, these, these units are from, they said the 40s and 50s. Um, they had 1,500 gallon tanks on them. This is an F7B. The one we started in was an F7A. Between the two locomotives, we have 3,000 horsepower. With the, the newer locomotives, they're three to 4,000 horsepower, even more. So, uh, they can fit a lot more horsepower in a smaller space now.